program is the first of a three-part episode where I'm going to show you how to alter some ordinary items into some amazing projects. One of our viewers requested the instructions on how to make this altered soapbox that I showed in episode 4. I found another box, very similar, and this one was, the price was reduced, and there were three large bars of soap in. And when I opened it up, I was amazed to find out that it was a recipe box. So, we're going to go ahead and alter this today. And then at the end of this program, there will be a website address where you can go and enter your name to win our altered box. Okay, to get started, um, you'll only need one piece of 12 by 12 printed paper, double-sided, because you're going to reverse the sides to give some interest to your box. This side kind of has a turquoise orange side, and this side is predominantly kind of orange and a rusty colored. So what you're going to go ahead and do is measure all the sides of your soapbox. You want to measure this bottom side here, the front, as well as the top and the back. Okay, I went ahead and measured the side of my box and I cut out both sides at the same time so that they were uniform. If you'll note here, I took special interest. There's a floor de lis pattern in the printed paper, so I wanted to make sure I captured that for the side. So this side will be adhered onto this side. And then on the other side, I'm going to flip the paper over and use the other side of the printed paper for the, so that they are contrasting. I've got all my pieces cut and I want you to notice that I cut them just a teeny bit smaller than the measurements so that it fits really really well when I go to adhere it on. So now I'm going to go ahead and decide what pieces look best and adhere it to the soapbox. I have my Mod Podge here in a foam applicator so I'm just going to dip it in the Mod Podge and make nice smooth strokes on the side of the box here and then just apply the printed paper making sure you press it down really 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 well so that it really adheres there I have all of my printed paper glued down. Don't worry if you get a little bit of Mod Podge on the surface of the printed paper. It just dries clear and you can always lightly sand that later on. So you can see there's no rhyme or reason as to how the design is. I reversed it here but here it's the same. It doesn't matter. It'll still look lovely in the end. Be sure to go around and check all the corners and make sure they're really well glued down like this one here. And if they're not just add a little bit more Mod Podge to make sure that you don't want them lifting later on. Now that our paper is dry, we're going to go ahead and take a piece of sandpaper, a sandpaper block, and sand down those rough edges, like that. And that's okay if some white shows, that's what we're looking for. You can see that I've got my box all sanded up. You'll notice some black little markings around the upper edge of the box. What I did is I measured from the, this edge here a half an inch down and I'm going to take the crocodile and the large size hole and start punching some holes right down on those markings so I can put some eyelets. I demonstrated the crocodile in episode 4. Okay, I'm all ready to add my eyelets right here. So I'm going to start with a pattern of copper, silver, gold, copper, silver, gold, and so on. So here's my copper one. I'll pop it in there. I will use the crocodile on the proper settings as I explained in episode four. Pop it in there. Give it a squeeze. If I can get it in the hole. And look at that, the eyelet is set. Okay, I just have this last gold one to attach. 
and done. Look how nice that makes the box look. Okay, we're going to set our box aside for just a moment and we're going to work on some of the el other elements we're going to be adding to this altered soap box. I've got some chipboard pieces. This is naked chipboard and these are some that I got from a kit uh, by Kay and Company and they just have different words that you can use. This one says happy hearts, this one says thankful. We're going to paint up this heart right now and add it to the top. I'm using Folk Art Jamaican Sea Blue to kind of coordinate with the blue on the box. Just finishing up painting my heart. You'll notice there's a little hole here in this chipboard. Just disregard that because we're going to be covering it up with the happy hearts words. While I'm waiting for the heart to dry, I'm going to rough up the edges of these chipboard pieces and still read the word thankful and happy hearts. The next step I'm going to do is some inking. I'm going to do a little bit of inking on these chipboard pieces and the corners of our box. I'm going to stick with my favorite color box chalk inks. I just love them. They have such a soft effect. I'm going to use this nice warm brown. So I'll go ahead again and ink the edges of these words. And I'll take my box and start inking that up a little bit too. Now I'm going to go ahead and sand this heart that I painted. Again, just to rough, rough it up a little, just so it doesn't look so bright, bright blue. And then I'll take the ink and go around the edges of the heart as well. I'm going to go ahead and use my adhesive gun to glue the elements to the top of the box. You can see the heart is now glued on. I'm going to go ahead and put the happy hearts right across here and then perhaps add some ribbon in between there. The ribbon I'm using is this pretty orange from Pebbles Ink Company. I picked up this ribbon at SavvyAndSassy.com. For the ribbon, I wanted to have both right sides of the polka dot showing. So instead of trying to fiddle folding it over, I cut the ribbon in two pieces and I'm going to attach first one like that and then glue the other on top like that. And because I'm going to add happy hearts, no one is going to see that that is in fact two pieces of ribbon. Okay. I've just about finished adhering everything to the box. You notice these little tiny little buttons? I found them in my button stash and they're heart shaped so they go perfect with this Happy Hearts recipe box. Okay, here is our finished altered soap box. I went ahead and put in the little recipe files that came with it along with the soap. I'm going to keep the soap for myself. I went ahead and added another little chipboard element on the side with one of those little keychain rings just for a little detail. So I hope you like it and please stay tuned to the end of this program to find out how you can win this. And don't forget to tune in for part two where I'm going to show you how to alter this pair of flip-flops into amazing photo album. See you then!